Hello everyone, it is Broman here, where I dedicate myself to being a bro to you and helping you get stuff done in video games. Now, today we're looking at Okami HD for the PS3. It is a downloadable title, an HD rendition of the game that you may have already played on Nintendo Wii or on PlayStation 2. However, this time, it's an HD. And there are fun trophies to collect. Now, I don't want all of you to make the same mistakes that I made, so I am making this video to help you out with getting all of the trophies in one playthrough so you aren't having to play this game over and over and over to get the stuff that you missed. First off, don't worry too much. Most of the trophies in this game you can get just by playing through the game and doing everything. If you're following a guide like Forweg's Excellent Guide on Game Facts, then you will get almost every trophy almost I say because there are a few missable and most of the guides on the internet are for the PlayStation 2 version which really don't account for getting trophies and they don't really account for people who want to get every single little thing in the game so we're gonna talk about that and how you can approach Okami HD and get all of the trophies in one playthrough the first missable trophy I'm gonna talk about is leave no chest unopened and don't worry you don't have to open every single chest in okami otherwise this would be an absolutely insane endeavor to undertake because there are hundreds of chests and hidden items to find in okami however there is a single stray bead that you can miss at the beginning of the game and it's pretty hard to miss but just make sure you're very thorough about opening all the chests and everything you come across in the very first part of the game uh, River of Stars, I believe it is called. You're going to want to make sure that you pick up the stray bead there. That is a missable chest. Now, if you don't, it really isn't a big deal because you can do another playthrough and get to that part very quickly. And I'm pretty sure everything carries over as far as what kind of chests you've collected and all your stray beads and stuff. But you might as well just get it right at the beginning. That way you aren't worrying about it later. The second trophy you can miss is Barking Up the Cherry Tree. This trophy is based on the performance rankings you get when you beat the game. And if you die five times or more, you will not get the top score for the deaths category. So make sure that if you're dying, instead of pressing that continue button, just reload the game. Usually a save point isn't very far from a hard part like a boss fight so don't stress out too much about this and you do have a little bit of buffer room if you die four times you're fine you'll still get the top ranking the third missable trophy is called from imps to demons and this trophy is based on your bestiary which is sort of a log of all the enemies you fought and you have to fight one of each type of enemy in order to get this trophy now I don't want to spoil the game by telling you where the missable one is exactly but I will describe kind of a general location where you need to keep your eyes open and you need to make sure that you're fighting all the enemies around there's a part in the game where you are in a miniaturized status and you have to go through a particular area and there's only a couple areas like that now the first one you get to that is like that you need to make sure you're fighting every type of demon scroll that you see and look for an enemy called the Fire Doom Mirror. Once you have the Fire Doom Mirror in your log, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, if you are not caring at all about spoilers, you can Google this and figure it out. But just make sure you do not miss this because if you miss your chance to get this enemy, you will not get another chance. You'll have to play through the game pretty much to its halfway point again you're basically sinking another 15 hours into the game just to get this one trophy so make sure you do not miss this one like I did in fact that trophy is the reason why I am making this video because it is frustrating to have to play through the whole game again to get one trophy and as much as I love the game I really, really don't want to play through it all the way through again just to get one trophy. Another missable trophy is called No Furball on the Menu. And without spoiling anything again, 
because this game is really good and I want to make sure that you guys enjoy it to its fullest if you're playing it for the first time. Uh, there is a part in the game where you have to run away from a pretty large beast and you're in the water and Amaterasu swims fairly slow. So in order to get past this part successfully and get this trophy, you have to draw lily pads on the water and use them as platforms to get away fast. I highly recommend double jumping and doing the air dash, which is accomplished by pressing the square button in midair and just making sure your lily pads are drawn, you know, almost as far apart as you can because if you go and do a double jump air dash, you can pretty much go all the way across the, the screen as far as your camera view. And so just make sure that you get away from this large beast because the game will continue if the beast catches you, but you will not get this trophy. You are permanently screwed out of this trophy and have to play through the entire game again, or at least up to that point in the game, which is fairly far into the game. So do not miss this one. That covers the missable trophies. Now I'm going to give you some general tips on how to make life a lot easier on getting some of the other trophies. Uh, this game does have a lot of collectibles, a lot of stuff to find everywhere. And luckily, you don't need to find everything to get the Platinum Trophy for this game. There's one trophy called All Creatures Great and Small that involves feeding animals. And don't worry, you don't need to feed every set of animal that you find. You do, however, have to feed each type of animal. Now just make sure as you're playing through the game that you always keep a handful of the four different kinds of foods, fish, meat, seeds, and herbs. Always keep about 10 to 15 on you and just restock whenever you get the opportunity to do so. That way you aren't having to you know, run back and try to find what you missed later. Early on in the game you'll come across your first dojo where you learn various combat techniques and you do need to learn every combat technique in order to get the platinum trophy. However there's one particular one you'll want to get as soon as possible that is very expensive and that one is called Golden Fury. I know that sounds bad but this literally gives you the ability to piss on enemies and they drop demon fangs after you piss on them. I know that sounds silly but hey it's not a game to be taken extremely seriously so just enjoy it for what it is. So Golden Fury costs 100,000 yen and you want to make sure you get this as soon as you can because you can start using it as you're playing through the game to get Demon Fangs. So pick it up at the dojo, farm whatever yen you need to get by fighting enemies around and enjoy pissing on everything in sight until you have a lot of Demon Fangs because you'll need 300 of them to get the top ranking required for the Barking Up the Cherry Tree Trophy. Keep in mind there are other ways to get demon fangs, um, they're just not as reliable. There are certain ways you can finish off enemies and you'll get some demon fangs, but it's not nearly as reliable and I still highly advise picking up Golden Fury as soon as you can. Another set of difficult trophies to get are the trophies involving racing. Now I didn't find these too difficult, but a lot of people do. Just remember, it's going to take a few tries. And for the ones where you have to actually catch up and hit the guy you're racing against, you can actually cut them off and just headbutt them as they run towards you. It's really not that bad. And then for the ones that you really can't cheese, uh, like the race through a forest uh, involving a lot of obstacles and dodging and just general frustration, just always remember that if you press square while you're running, you'll go into a headbutt, and this will put you into a dash faster. So start every race by pressing square to go into a dash faster. There are also a few difficult trials. Um, you could think of these as like Okami's like optional difficult content, almost its equivalent of super bosses. So. For these trials, you'll want to make sure that you're readily prepared, especially for the most difficult one. Um, make sure you have plenty of items because they go on for quite a while. And make sure that you have the time to do it. I know some of them can take 15 to 30 minutes, so just set aside the time for it. Don't get discouraged and spam items. You're going to need them. Make sure you have lots of health recovery items. Uh, make sure you have lots of exorcism slips. 
stuff like that and vengeance slips are completely underrated make sure you have vengeance slips these things make you pretty much invincible for about 30 seconds or so and that's enough time to do a lot of damage and to get a lot done in a fight so vengeance slips do not sell the ones that you pick up and plan on probably buying a few of them which brings me to my next topic you're gonna need a lot of money to get all of the items and all of the fighting techniques in Okami so to get that money there's not a lot of like easy tricks but I will give some general advice other than the initial 100,000 yen you need at the beginning of the game to get the Golden Fury fighting technique because we all know pissing on things is really important to dogs um, save the money farming to the end of the game because the enemies at the end of the game drop a lot more money and you have much better equipment to handle those enemies so don't stress about buying everything right off the bat there's no shops that permanently close down as far as shops that have items that you need for various trophies so don't stress out a lot about it and if you can't afford all the fighting techniques right away that's fine come back later and get it okami is really easy to get around and there's two traveling systems as far as you know quick points or warp points or whatever you want to call them go so don't stress about money and try to find every treasure you can uh, if you're following a guide it's pretty easy again the guide won't keep in mind that there are trophies to be found but the guide will tell you probably where every treasure is again four wigs guide on game facts is what i used and it worked pretty well for me i don't think i really missed many treasures or anything so treasures are a huge source of yen don't stress about grinding enemies at least not until towards the end of the game the rest of the trophies are obtained fairly naturally just through playing through the game and the collectible ones uh, if you're following a 100% guide for the PlayStation 2 version, you'll naturally come across all that stuff if it's a decent guide. The guide I mentioned earlier that I used was Four Wags, and that's found on GameFAQs, Okami PlayStation 2 page, or the Okami HD page, and it's listed with the PlayStation 2 tag. It was a good guide. It got me pretty much everything. It just didn't keep in mind that, hey, there's an HD version now with trophies. And I don't think there are any guides that keep in mind the trophies throughout the entire game. So just don't miss those missable trophies. That's the big thing with this game. If you want to get a platinum trophy in this without doing multiple playthroughs, do not miss those missable trophies. The information I gave you should be enough to not miss those trophies. But if you're super worried about it and don't mind major story spoilers, just Google the trophies I talked about and they'll tell you exactly where they're at location and story wise. So I don't recommend doing that because I don't think you should have to. But if you're paranoid, go ahead and go for it. As always, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, and if you were successful in getting your Platinum Trophy, leave a comment down below. Let me know so I know to make more of these kinds of videos. I'm pretty new to trophy hunting myself, but I just want to make sure people aren't making the same mistakes that I made in various games that I've played. And if there's a game you'd like to see a trophy guide for, leave a comment below because, hell, I have the time and I don't mind doing it. So let me know. Thanks again for watching and have a beautiful day.